So let's get you to what went down here in San Diego at Snapdragon Stadium, where weather was a talking point and weather impacted the night for the second week in a row, not only San Francisco, but here in San Diego. How would the night go for the red plate holder, the number one, the reigning champion and the points leader coming into San Diego? That's Chase Sexton aboard his Red Bull KTM. So let's get to the action and show you what went down. And boy, the track was slippery and challenging. Yeah, Justin Cooper comes out firing on his Monster Energy Yamaha Star Racing Machine. And look at that. The defending champ, Chase Sexton, goes down with Malcolm Stewart. And this was a really challenging section coming off of that start right there. Ruts going everywhere and uh, hated to see it for these two guys. It was kickstart Kenny. Ken Roxon, who got a brilliant start, took off nice and early, but he had company with Justin Barsha, hot in pursuit aboard his gas gas. Unfortunately, great night in San Francisco, not so great here in San Diego for the three, the multiple time champion Eli Tomac. Yeah, you can see right there adjusting his clutch lever. It looked like it was bent up from the collision there uh, with Christian Craig. Hated to see that, but I got to give it up to Aaron Plessinger. That was a clutch pass. And what I mean by that, uh, Barsha tried to hold him off and he really pushed it right there to get by him. This was a huge moment. Roxon crashing out of the lead. It opened up the gate for Plessinger. Plessinger didn't look back from that point, and unfortunately, Roxon had to go via the mechanics area. He was playing catch up. A Rare, shame for Ken. Rarely do you see that mistake made like that by Ken Roxon. He's a veteran of the sport, and uh, I hated to see that for Kenny because uh, he would have had a great run. So you may remember that Plessinger almost won the Detroit race last year. He got he led 20 of the 22 laps. So here he is out in front, but he knows pressure is coming in the form of Cooper Webb, who got as close as less than two seconds. Well, they're great friends, and uh, make no mistake about it, I guarantee you Aaron Plessinger knows just how lethal Cooper Webb is, and Cooper had the eye of the tiger tonight. But this right here gets jammed up, watch his displeasure he's going to show to Chase Sexton. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I don't agree with, I, I think, I say, I don't agree. I think that Chase could have got it out of the way. So that's the sub story, the main story, the headline, the cowboy rode high in California. First 450 career win. And it wasn't only Plessinger celebrating, he was getting congratulated by his peers, his competitors, his rivals. This was a universally celebrated victory just because of the person that Aaron Plessinger is. He gives so much to the sport and the sport has given him the ultimate by being a 450 main winner. That's been a long time coming for him to stand in the middle of a big time podium like that. Well, I can't wait to see what he is able to do next week in at Anaheim. I'm just hoping for a, a race that isn't muddy. I missed the <laughs> season opener and it's muddy last weekend and this weekend. So much of the race was about Plessinger and Webb, the storming Webb, but Justin Barsha had a great ride. Chet Lawrence came back through the field. He and Jason Anderson uh, had an altercation late in the race. We'll show you that in a moment. Dylan Ferrandez continues to be the quiet achiever and Hunter Lawrence with back-to-back -back main event appearances and more, uh, more points gathering. Speaking of the points, have a look how tight it is, RC. There you go, but keep your eye between fourth and seventh. Those guys, you got a uh, two-time Supercross champ, you got another two-time two, two -time Supercross champs, and a one-time Supercross cha champ with Jason Anderson. Yeah, Watch it, these guys. It's going to be interesting going to the first Triple Crown next weekend. But before we get there, let's hear from the man of the night, Will Christian.